1,000 metres. Bay sprinting away from the 1,000 metre marker. Not a bad beginning. Colard Cash along the inside. Prince Gresh with the yellow cap goes off to dispute the lead. Winter Flight is back in third position. Then comes Filippo. Here comes the rain. Mallorca Palace is racing about five lengths off the leader. Prince Gresh at the top of the lane, about to be homeward bound, a length and a quarter. Cold Art Cash second. Winter Flight is on the outside. Here comes the rain, then Filippo, and behind that, Mallorca Palace. Top of the lane, Prince Gresh the leader. Cold Art Cash on the outside. Winter Flight down the inside. Here comes the rain. Coming out of the 200, and Prince Gresh still goes. Here comes the rain's the danger. On the outside, Winter Flight. Cold Art Cash is under pressure, and it's Prince Gresh. Here comes the rain. On the outside, Outside, Winter Flight. Prince Gresh still leads at Mallorca Palace. A big run in on the outside. Winter Flight. They're going to hit the line. Oh, it's too close. Between Mallorca Palace and Winter Flight, Prince Gresh on the inside. Close call this one. The two horses on the outside. Winter Flight and Mallorca Palace with a red cap. Mallorca Palace is just the leader. Uh, the last two jumps, but then Winter Flight comes with a strong claim on the outside. And let's see when they hit the line it goes to. Just go back a fraction, please, if we can. All right, I'm not going to split those two. And all right, just to the, the red laser there if we can, and that will give us more of an idea. Maybe Winter Flight won it on that. Number two. Second, number six, Mallorca Palace. Third, on the inside, Prince Crash, maybe, and then Filippo, here comes the rain, and then Cold Art Cash. Toad favourite number seven, and that was Prince Crash. And Prince Crash probably ran into that third, but get all of that confirmed. And just looking at the dividends here, it shows a number two Winter Flight at 340. So, on the extreme right is Winter Flight, Mallorca Palace with the red cap in the middle of your picture. On the left is Prince Crash, and then Winter Flight starts to drift towards the outside rail, and Mallorca Palace is towards the inside, and as they hit that line, you'll see it's desperately close between the two of them. Maybe a photo will go up. Filippo's between the two of them. Prince Crash is on the left. We'll keep you on uh, just to well, an exciting start to the first leg of the bipod this evening, and uh, it's gone to horse number two, Winter Flight, under a driving ride by both jockeys, but Donovan Dillon managed to get this horse up. Uh, bred by Ridgemont Highlands, the son of Water Winter, trained by Peter Musket, Donovan Dillon, the jockey, and of course, our good friend, Jason Murugas. Well done to you, Jason. Your horse has come through to notch up his third career win. Well played, and a gentleman that takes care of Winter Flight, his name is Prosper Sebanda. Prosper, 1,000 Rand, Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Tremendous job, my man. Hearty congratulations. Well done to you. Prosper Sabanda. Well done, Donovan. Close finish between yourself and Sean at the line. What were your thoughts? You know, these, I thought it was very close. Um, when I did change, when they all shot up next to me, sort of, slight, I think he got his nose in front and I changed my stick and this was fought, fought back gamely and uh, uh, a win full of merit because uh, it looked game over when Sean moved up next to me, but uh, he was gallant. He fought on. Uh, I must just commend uh, Mr. Musket. This horse was here outstanding today. He looked the picture. He felt good. He, he settled nicely in the running. Uh, so I could move on him a little bit earlier. And uh, yeah, no, it was just a win full of merit. It must be a huge bonus getting uh, the chances from Peter, doing the work in the mornings and getting to ride them at the races because you get to know the horses very well. No, without a doubt, these, um, Peter's a hard worker. You can ask anyone. And uh, with him, we learn something new every day. Uh, he's an endless book of knowledge towards us and uh, we can count ourselves lucky to work for him. One on the board, where can you help us, Donovan? You know, these, uh, we got open chances through the day. Um, I must be honest, I like my horse a bit uh, first to fire later. He's drawn a bit wide. It's a little bit of a tricky race to map out. But if we get lucky from that draw, I, I, th I think he'll be a good contender. Uh, and then the rest of the chances are quite open through the day. Well, one on the board. Congratulations. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Diz. Again, obviously a big thanks to Mr. Muscat, uh, Daryl, Mark, Rose, the whole team. It's a big team effort and uh, we can't do it without the support. Um, big thanks to the partners involved. Thank you. Well done. Peter Muscat on a roll.
horses are looking well, they're running well, the results are clear to see. It's a good time for the musket team. Yeah, uh, they all, actually, as you say, they're all running very well. Uh, had a bit of a quiet month. Uh, lots of places just having, haven't been converting, but nice to kick, kick this one off for the you know, our first runner of the day. Jason's a good guy. I've met him a few times. He loves the game and nice to have a winner for him. Outstanding. He's a big supporter of ours and I, I can't thank him and the Muragasa family enough for what they've done for me. Um, they've got a lot of horses in training with me and, and I do appreciate their support and, and huge congratulations to all of them. It's 50-50 at the line. I'm sure you've been on the other end of uh, the results many times in your career. Good that this one went your way. Yeah, a couple of strides before the line, I thought uh, I thought we, we we couldn't win, and then he he just seemed, to, as Donovan said, he changed legs late uh, when he changed his stick, and uh, the result went up. Thank God. Some nice runners later on this evening. Where can you help us? Uh, Dee's um, filly in the next Ethiopian Queen. She's a lovely little filly. Uh, she's the youngster against all the the hard knocking older girls, uh, but she's in good form. She's well drawn. Uh, she should give a, I think she's a runner. Uh, Calgary won his last start. Um, he's in the fifth, I think. He, he should have an each way chance. If we were drawn in the sixth with Fister Fai, he was a very unlucky loser at his last start. Yeah. I think he would be hard to beat, but if he gets luck in running, he, he still should be right there. And then we got two, two fillies uh, in the seventh, all aglow and purple persuasion. Uh, they're both in top form, and I wouldn't leave them out of quartet. Thanks for that, Peter. Give our best to Jason as well, and well done to the Musket Yard. Thank you very much, and obviously a huge thanks to our sponsors, Hollywood Bets. Uh, all their help is very, very much appreciated. Thank you. Peter Musket, and race number two belongs to horse number two, Winterflight.